My next guest is a five-year-old preacher who went viral when his mom captured him baptizing his toy in the bathtub. You gotta see this. <laughs> huh? You ready? Yeah. Ready for what? The baptism. Um, get, get the baptism. Get what? The water. Lord, get chased. Chased and fell off the. I guess the water. You sure? Me to the water. Hallelujah, take me to the wall, Hallelujah. Obedience to the command, I baptize you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Come oh. oh. on, please welcome Luke, his mom, Katrina, and Dad Ezra. Come on. How are you? Oh, oh, it's a blessing. Did you want to say something to the congregation at all? Well, it's, it's my pleasure, y'all. <laughs> it's your pleasure. Now, tell me about baptizing your toys. So, I got for our father, he baptized me. I asked her, and, I, and I, he said, I'll baptize you the next Sunday. It was a little longer than that. It was a little longer than yeah. that. He, he was, I've, he was... I've been asking since I was two years That's old. Right. And how old are you now? Five years old. Five years old? And how old was he when he got baptized? He was four. You were four? Yeah. Uh-huh. You want to be like your dad? Uh-huh. Yes. Do you want to know what I'm going to be when I grow up? I'm going to be a pastor and a Christian. Yes, sir. <laughs> I believe you, sir, baby. <laughs> and how does it feel that he wants to follow in your footsteps? It's a blessing. It's a blessing. I I'm thinking now, you know, the pressure is always on PKs and the whole development of him desire to want to do it and authentically want to do it. It's a blessing. I think this, uh, this year is 20 years of me preaching, and he preached to 20 million people in one week. I haven't reached that in 20 years. I'm very happy Look about it. I've been watching him. <laughs> what you say you was watching? You I've been watching him. <laughs> you have? I'm serious. I want, I want to be just like him when I grow up. Mom, what you got to say? I'm just overjoyed. You know, God is good. The fact that he is using a five-year-old to spread the message of baptism yes. is something that we need, you know, in the two, three. <laughs> yes. Amen. Yes, amen. <laughs> now, now, I saw, because that took me back to church mm. when I saw the clip when you sang, Take Me Eddie, to the Water. Eddie, and he lived where his robe. Look at that. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's your robe? That's his robe. That's, that's, still, that's still at home. Mm hmm. That's still at home. It his is. Robe. Yeah. I wish you could tell what I do, so it's at home. I'd be like, That how you won't. I'm curious enough from y'all, like, what age was it that you realized that? You know, I, you anointed, young man. Uh, well, Luke, uh, we have four sons, and um, all of them are gifted and special in their own way. Um, Luke, we, we definitely noticed his love for, for Christ around the age of two. I had never, my goal as a mom was to teach my sons the model prayer by the age that they were two. Luke, he... Oh, Come on. <laughs> Let him know. Come on, praise my God. Right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he, he, um, you know, I would read scripture to all of them, but Luke, he, he just knew certain things that I had not taught him. So I never taught him at the age of two that the cross was connected to Christ. But somehow, by way of the Holy Spirit, amen, uh, he knew that the cross was Jesus. We was riding um, somewhere... <laughs> Yeah, we were riding around and um, we saw a church that had a cross on it and he said, Jesus, Jesus at two years old. I'm like, Jesus! Yes, <laughs> of course, at two, you know, he couldn't, you know, read or whatever, but he would, he would say things that was in scripture that I had not yet read to him. 
So things were being revealed to him at a very, very early I'll age. I'll tell you a scripture. Come on, tell me your scripture. John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, whosoever believed in him shall not perish and do shall not die, but have everlasting life. Yes! 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 Oh, my God. You better open up the doors of the church, young man. Now, now, woo child. Oh, my God. You were singing, take me to the water to be baptized. Can you, can you sing it? All right. Can we sing Take it? me to the water, y'all. Take me to the water, Take me to the wall, oh, 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 to be baptized. Tied. Nothing but the wild, just nothing but the wild, nothing but the wild. First of all, I just want to say thank you for coming here with your beautiful parents and blessing us with your, your, your God-filled, anointed energy. You have lifted us all up. You have an amazing calling on your life, uh -huh. okay? So you keep doing what you're doing, okay, and walking in God's will. You gonna do that? Uh-huh, I'm never forgetting about God. Amen. Amen, that's Amen. the way to go. Amen. But before you go now, Lou, I know you don't watch cartoons often, because you got... I, I watch shorts. What? I don't watch no cartoons. I watch shorts. <laughs> I hear you like a little Paw Patrol. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now, if if we give you a little Paw Patrol, you gonna bless them and maybe baptize them? Then maybe you'll watch them. I'm definitely going to baptize them. Okay, well, can we bring them out? <laughs> so so you can have your good old basket, and then you have <laughs> your Paw Patrol -ness. Look behind you. Look, Look behind you. <laughs> there you go. And you you got many of them to bless. <laughs> Just like you blessed all of these people here today. You hear me, y'all? Help, help, help all of these people. You gonna baptize oh. Uh-huh. What do you say to Miss Jen, Jennifer? Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you so much. And thank you guys. Will you please come back thank and you. invite us to the church, all right? We're coming to see you. All right, let's get this spring celebration started. There's nobody better to help us do it than our first guest. He was back here in January and told us about baptizing his toys. I love him so much. Please welcome Pastor Luke, his mom Katrina, and his dad Ezra. Come on out. I'm so happy to have you guys back. Thank oh, you so be much good. for being here. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you like my Easter outfit? Oh, yes. It's so beautiful. Is it beautiful? <laughs> you know, Pastor Luke, I wore this when I, I was about your age at, on the Easter Sunday. So what you gonna wear? I'm gonna wear a gray suit and a bow tie, so I can so I can look sharp for my past, for my dad's <laughs> soreness. <laughs> we gotta get ready for that, y'all. <laughs> gotta get ready. I, I love that. I'm so happy. I know it's a busy time of year for you, so I'm so grateful that you all came by to see us today. Now, since I saw you last, have you been recognized a lot? Yes, yes. What has that been like for you? Well, it, well, so this is the time when we came here, and and it was so beautiful. I was I was walking into the airplane. And I saw this woman, she was like, oh, oh, is, is this the one on Facebook? And then, and then, and then she said, can we take a picture? Well, I want to take a picture. So, and then we took a picture, and then it was just a blessing to be here. It is indeed a blessing to have you here. Do you have a, a Easter speech prepared? Do you do any of that? Well, I do have a new scripture. Oh. Oh. Oh, you do? Is it for Resurrection Sunday that you prepared for that? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, okay, you know, I, 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 I gotta hear. Can you hear mine? Which, what scripture you gonna give her? Proverbs chapter 3, verse 16. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Somebody say, Mama. Mama. You gave me chills. I'm about to shout. Thank you so much for that. Now, tell me what else you do in, d during the spring. It's so nice outside. You been swimming with your brothers? Yes, we, we've been splashing and all that. We've been splashing. Now, that was when I was little, but, that's but it's still fun. Because it's still fun because I should be grateful that God gave me a choice to do that. <laughs> yes, he did. I love that. I heard you could dance, too. You and your brothers be dancing. Oh, we've been doing TikToks. <laughs> we got to talk about the TikToks. <laughs> the TikToks. So, so the one with the blue short, uh, he's the one that teach me how to do TikTok, so. Uh, your brother Isaac. Yeah, my brother Isaac, he made me a TikTok account. So we decided to do that, but it's the same name as my Instagram account. <laughs> but it's still all right. I have Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. All right. Isaac is the dancer. Isaac is the dancer. Yeah, so we, we have four, four boys. Um, Ezra is the oldest. That's the basketball player. Okay. Um, Micah, he's vegan and, and, and wants to get into chef and, and cooking and things of that nature. And uh, then we got Isaac, who's the TikTok dancer and oh. soccer player. And then we got Drama Little Luke. Pastor <laughs> Luke. There it is. <laughs> Y'all look so lovely today. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You. you know, you know how we do for, for Holy Week now. Yes. You know, Resurrection Sunday, we get it out. Resurrection Sunday. <laughs> I see. Did you help your mom pick her outfit out? Yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I think it said that. I'd be like, Mom, can I please help you? I can pick out your shoes. I can pick out your dress. I, I want, I want your husband to say you want. To you look nice uh -huh. for resurrection. Okay. So. All right. All right. <laughs> what you got to say? <laughs> I'm at all this young guy. It's amazing to see how his life has uh, been bringing so much joy into people's lives. And so it's just a joy to know that you're raising inside your home. So I just watch him sometimes saying, I'm looking at uh, Jesus talk to me. Y'all look in awe at him. I'm looking at oh, your faces yeah. it's now. Real. It's, it's, real. it's yeah. we, There's never, well, for one, being in a house with four boys, um, there's never a dull moment in the home. But uh, with Luke, sometimes we just look at each other and we just shake our head and say, <laughs> who, is, who, who, we got in our house? who do we got in our <laughs> house? You know, uh, because he has just, um, you know, he's who he is at five years old. It's just amazing how mm. God has used him yes. um, to just spread love and joy and um, so many people just really take to him. Around the world. Around, around the world. world. We've yeah. received messages from Switzerland, South Africa, the Netherlands, Mexico, um, and wow. of course here in the States of people who have seen this video and just are saying they have That's just been... Follow daily. Follow and daily. Detroit. And, yeah. <laughs> now, you, you just preached not too long ago at your daddy's church? Yeah. Well, well what actually happened, so... So... Uh, I was at my dad's church, and and every single Sunday I'd be like, "Dad, can I can I preach at your church? Can I preach at your church?" And he kept saying no, but he figured out that I I am responsible, kind, and safe. So he thinks I'm ready to preach about the word of God. So and I preach, and then. I did the same scripture as the first time I was here. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Give them your text. What you preach? Yeah, uh, that's what I was gonna ask. <laughs> what did you preach? Tell, tell them what you preach. John chapter three verse sixteen. But but what I was actually talking about. God's love, anybody in here got your mind saved? Somebody in here can save my mind. Is he able? Is God all right? Is he all right? Is God all right?
goodness. Did he get it from you, Dad? I guess so. He's paying more yes. attention to what I thought. That's He's for sure. He's being modest. Yes, That's for sure. he gets it from his daddy. Yeah, yes, I, he does. I'm very, I'm very impressed with him, though. He has a way. We have this thing on Sunday morning where he want to meet me in the mirror. I'm shaving. He's talking. And he made a comments about it, as he said, and uh, to know that I need to put him up. I failed the conviction to do so. And I kept telling uh, Katrina, I said, well, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm putting him up. Yes. And so we put him up for uh, Youth Sunday, and the rest is history. It's amazing how the spirit uh, demonstrated that day and then how it touched the church. And so we're evident and clear that uh, the Lord hand is on his life. Yeah. yeah. We're believers. We believe it. Now, Luke, are you, are you, like, how do you feel about all the people that you've inspired? I feel like, I just feel like, like, look what God has done. Like, look what God has done for us. Like, look what God has done because he is responsible. He's our savior. He's our protector. He's our provider. Mm -hmm. Just look what he's done. Yeah. The, last the last time I saw you, it was like in January, but look what God has done. It's Resurrection Sunday. That is coming up. Can, can, I, can I get a witness, y'all? Can I get a witness? Yes! So how, how do you feel about the people you've inspired? Or the people. Let's talk about the people. Yeah, the people. The people, like, sometimes, like, I don't think it's the right time, but mm -hmm. I think I should do what God tells me to do. That's right. Yeah. Even though if I'm in the middle of school, I, I, I would still pray to him. Even mm -hmm. though I'm doing my work, I would still pray to him. <laughs> He has really, um, there's been so many people that have um, inboxed us and sent us a message or email that's just constantly saying how much joy they get from this five-year-old, you know, and I think it's because, you know, it's suffer pure. not the little children. It's, yeah. it's pure. He hasn't been tainted by society or anything like that, and so kids are kids, and so it's more... Uh, we're, we're easier to receive information from a child, and it's just so happened his information is from God. And the common thing that that everybody, I mean, the common denominator is I can't stop crying. Mm. People, when they watch him, they just get filled with so much joy that it just brings tears to their eyes. So there's been, been people who have... <laughs> It's, it's, it's a little deeper, though. You know, the joy side is one part, and I guess, you know, you love to see, you know, to get your numbers up, that type of thing. But uh, we've got missed from people who were contemplating suicide mm -hmm. and just seeing that particular video, you know, meet people convinced to get back in church, to yeah. uh, commit their life back to Christ. It's, it's been so many other, you know, stories that go along with his uh, influences, really the joy behind his story and what he's doing. So we know it's a bigger picture. Yes, sir. It's yes, it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> Somebody say, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Pastor Luke, can you tell me about your coloring book you got? All right. The, the, Pardon? all right. What, what's, what's the it's name called Bible Eventuals with Luke. Take me to the water coloring book, Luke Tillman. <laughs> Joy, you and your parents, thank y'all so much. Will y'all come back again and see y'all? You're such a blessing. Look at all the people who made us smile. Hey, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. There you go. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.